Good morning. Pray that you're doing well today. Pray God's blessings be upon you as you go throughout this day. And we share the love of God with every person that we meet. I want to talk to you this morning about a verse here in the book of Romans uh, that it just means so much because of the way it, what, of what it says. And I want you to listen to this this morning. It says in, John, in Romans chapter 5, verse 8, But God commended his love towards us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. What an awesome statement that is. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Christ knew that he was coming to earth to go to the cross. We know in John 3.16 it states the fact that God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son to die for us. And what amazes me is that he didn't wait and take a poll on how many people were going to, to accept him as Lord and Savior. He didn't say, well, if I get 75% of the population to agree to come and serve me, then I'll go. He didn't say, well, you know, if only 50%, I'll go. He didn't do any of that. He just said, I will go. Now, he already knew that the majority of the people of this world would not accept him. What an, that's just unimaginable that somebody would love us so much. But if you go to John... And it's uh, chapter 15 and verse 13. It says, Greater love hath no man than this, that a man laid down his life for his friends. And that's what Jesus did. He came to earth and says, I'm going to die for you, and I'm going to die for you, and I'm going to die for you. No matter whether you accept me or not, I'm dying for you. I think about the old song that every time I hear it, it means so much to me. When he was on the cross, you and I were on his mind. And I've heard preachers talk about it, and I've heard singers talk about it, how as he was going to that cross and as he hung on that cross, he looked down through the time. He looked down through all the ages to come, and he knew who would accept him and come to him humbly asking for forgiveness. And he knew those that would reject him and say, I don't care what he did. I'm not going that route. But yet he loved us because the Bible says, greater love hath no man that he lay his life down for a friend. And that's what he did for you and I. He laid his life down on that cross. He went willingly to lay his life down, to shed his blood so that you and I might be free of sin. And I tell you what, it's a gift of salvation that is given to each man, woman, boy, and girl who will accept it. A gift. You don't have to pay for it. You don't have to suffer the pain for it. He already did that for you and I. It's hard to understand how people don't want to serve a God that did that for us. And not only that, he has prepared a place for those who will accept him into their life that we may go to be with him forevermore and escape that terrible place called hell. My friends, today, I, I can't get it across enough, and I sometimes think preachers, we don't preach enough about those who are headed to hell to try to get them off of that path, that wide path that leadeth to destruction, onto that narrow path that leadeth to life forevermore with him in heaven. My friend, Jesus still loves you today if you haven't served him yet. If you have not surrendered your life, he still loves you in spite of what all you've done. Don't let the devil tell you that you cannot be saved. Come to Christ. If there is a longing in your heart to know that you're wrong and you'd rather be right, you can be saved if you'll accept him. My friend, I pray that today. Jesus, thank you for what you did. You went to that cross so that we could be forgiven of our sins. And today you stand ready with arms open wide to forgive us of our sins if we will just come to you. I pray today that those who are lost will do just that. In Jesus' name, amen.
May God richly bless you today is my prayer. I love each and every one of you.